It seems like people always have questions about my torch setup, and a few weeks ago, yeah, maybe it was a few months ago at this point, I made mention that I was making some improvements in that, I was changing the way I had things set up, and that project is mostly done, although like so many projects, it gets to the point it's useful and kind of stalls out, and there's a few little details I gotta worry about. But I thought I'd show you what I've done and why I did it the way I did it, and just let you see what's going on here in the shop. So let's go over to where the torch is. And my torch lives over here on this side of the shop. It's back here where it's in close access to the vise, reasonable access to the anvil, and I find that I never really do anything any place but here. At one point I had a 25-foot hose on my oxygen and acetylene tanks that went to my gas saver valve, and then another 25 feet of hose from the gas saver valve out. I could take the torch anywhere in the shop I wanted to. I never did, but I could. And I decided that that 50 feet of hose was just too much. I got really tired of dealing with hose. It seemed like it was always tangled. It always wanted to lay on the floor. Just a real nuisance. And if I didn't need it, why have all that? So one of my goals was to limit hose. And now I have 12 feet of hose on the torch. It's plenty of hose that I can work right here at the vise, and more than enough hose to go to the anvil. And if those are the only two places I ever use the torch, it's all I'm ever going to need. By the way, the gas saver valve we saw at the beginning of the video is this little lever turns the gas on, or turns the gas off when you hang the torch up, and it has a pilot light to light the torch. Really a very handy thing. I hang that up, and it goes out. The only problem with these is that the pilot light, just like the torch tips, is specific to what kind of fuel gas you're running. So I need a different valve with a different pilot light and different torch tips to run propane than I do if I'm running acetylene. And there are times that I want one or the other, and that was the other main reason for changing this. A couple of years ago, I put a 500 gallon propane tank out in the yard. It's what I use to run my forge, and it's always planned to be able to use it to run a torch because propane is way more cost efficient than acetylene is, and it's delivered. I have to go fill the oxygen bottles at my local welding supplier. In fact, the propane driver was out here today. He was just out in the area making deliveries. He came by, he checked the house tank, he checked the tank for the shop, saw how much gas was in there. I've got enough for another month or two before I have to worry about having it filled again. So he'll be back when it needs to be filled. Really super convenient, more cost effective, saves time, saves money. I'm all for both of those. But propane doesn't really work very well for welding. So I have a duplicate setup here that is on acetylene, and I only use the acetylene now as a welding gas. Both of these gas savers... Let me turn the gas off over here. are set up with quick release valves. That means I can get the hose out of my way, I can hang this on the wall over by the torch, and no hoses on the floor in the walk path next to the vise, quick and easy to set up when I need it, out of the way when I don't need it. I have a duplicate hose set up and torch for the acetylene side as I do the propane side, except that the hose is different, there's special hose for propane, and the tips are different, I have special tips for propane. So this one's always set up for propane, and I have another one always set up for acetylene. Life is grand. Now I'm sure somebody is looking at this red toolbox that is so prominent in the videos, and probably I should have got a black one, but red was available on eBay. And this is just a mid-box for a rolling tool chest that goes between the lower box and the upper box. That's why they call it a mid-box. But it's a three-drawer chest, and I have my, my Victor torch book and my torch setting card that I use to make sure I've got the right settings, and my tip cleaners, and my extra propane tips, matches for lighting the coal forge. All of my acetylene tips and fittings and extra cutting heads, things like that are in here. In the bottom drawer, I have a place for my limited air tools. I don't use a lot of air tools, but I've got an air chisel and I've got a needle scaler and some blow guns for cleaning stuff. And this was a convenient place to put it because I had an extra drawer. And they used to take up space in another chest just like this that I really wanted some other tools in. These are really handy chests. This is the third one that I've got, and I really like every one of them. 
So over here I have my oxygen cylinder which serves both the propane side and the acetylene side. One cylinder, I've just got a Y on there. Actually I have two Ys because I have two different propane setups. And we'll look at that in a minute. So it's a little bit more involved than I would like, but I couldn't find anybody selling a three-way manifold to put on the oxygen side. If you know where you can get one of those, let me know, because it really would look better and be more convenient if I just had one in and three outs and didn't have to put two Ys back to back. But it works. I only run one torch, one hose at a time, so it really doesn't bother me too much. Then the, the acetylene regulator goes to the other gas saver valve, no problem. I have a separate regulator for the propane, again a propane rated regulator, it's got a special diaphragm in it, and it's just plumbed into the gas supply that comes from that propane tank. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, what if you want to take the torch somewhere else? What if you don't want to just work with it there? You need it at the welding table. Maybe you're working on something out in the yard and you got to take your torch out there. Well, I got you covered. Right up here, I've got a hose reel with 50 feet of hose that is rated for either propane or acetylene. It's on a nice self-retracting hose reel, locks in place, quick releases on the end of the hose so I can hook up my cutting torch if I need the cutting torch. If I want the little welding torch, the, the same quick releases that plug into the gas saver valve plug in here. And that means I can take this anywhere I want, inside the shop or even outside the shop. I can get this all the way out into the driveway around the shop. If I have some sort of big material out there, I need to cut up before I can bring it in the shop. Personally, I don't think I will ever need the full 50 foot stretch of this. But if I do, it's there and it's ready to go. Now for doing more delicate welds and smaller work, I have this little Dillon or Hinrob or Cobra torch. It's gone by all three names at one point in time or another. And it runs on just four PSI of oxygen and four PSI of acetylene. Nice little torch for doing delicate things like roses. Like I said, I'm not 100% done with what I'm doing over there. At some point I'll add some sort of hooks on the wall that I can hang the hoses and the torches on so that they're not just laying over the top of the oxygen cylinder. But that's a job for another day. For today, I hope you can get out to your shop, hope you can make something, but stay safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next one.